Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse and today I'm doing banana bread beer, which is a beer I may have had before. Um, used to get one from Morrison's and used to really enjoy it, but I couldn't tell you if it was Eagle Brewery. Um, so let's give this one a go. It just had, I think Marmite is the word I'm going to say because you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. It does taste of bananas and it was something that I used to think was fantastic. It was unusual. Um, now we live in an age of craft beers where they blew ev where they blew everything. I can't speak. Where they brew everything from you know bubble gum to black currant and snozbury, You know, you you name it, they'll brew it. But this used to stand out. Um, so really interested. Um, so let's give it a tasting and then I'll waffle on. Okay. So we've got a sort of chestnut coloured beer carbonation rising up there not great deals no head to you know despite my pouring which is normally atrocious little bit of lacing but not much and give it a few minutes this head will dissipate there's that unmistakable banana bang in the nose it smells very much like those banana sort of chews that used to get you know, in the penny the, chews the foam sweets. yeah you get a shrimp and, yeah. and a banana and it smells just like those so a little bit sweet on the on that you know but it's not an unpleasant smell okay cheers it does follow through and then it sort of fades to a slight sort of bread yeasty, but not overly yeasty and not like um, some of the wheat beers and things like that. But it's just it just pales out. But there is, a, you know, and it's a gentle bitterness, it doesn't bite. See, if there's anything on the back end. Not a great deal else. And, you know, if this was the same beer that I used to drink years ago, um, it used to stand out as being unusual. Um, not so much today. Um, quick check of, at the back of the bottle. Carlsberg Marsden Brewing Company. Yeah. Um, Eagle Brewery Bedford. So I was thinking, there's a few comments that I've had, um, particularly on the Newcastle Brown that I did, that some of the things don't taste the same and I'm wondering if a mega brewery buys something and then moves its location the water in that area you know water hardnesses vary from place to place and it must have an effect on the flavor um, and so if this I mean, this is very good I couldn't tell you if even though they're owned by Carlsberg Marsden whether the Eagle Brewery is still brewing it or you know the mega brewery have bought the product and then moved it somewhere where they can then brew it and make a profit and you know in the case of some beers destroy uh, you know a classic um this it, it's so long ago i've had it it's really difficult for me to say oh yeah this is the beer i had when i was a young man just can't do it would i recommend this one it's unusual. Um, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. If you don't like bananas, then steer clear of it because it is heavy on the banana front. Um, uh, it, as I said, it's a 5.2 in a two, uh, 500 ml bottle. Uh, and this was in there. It's a three for a fiver or three for six quid. Yeah, something like that. Uh, they have these various offers. This was on offer in Morrison's. Um, yeah, if you're interested, give it a go. Be good to yourselves.